Hello everyone. It's time for another story. It's time to say hello and I hope you've had a wonderful time with your family over the holidays and it's probably time to go back to school, right? Time. Time. We talk about time a lot. There's a time for everything, a time to play and a time to work, a time to wake up and a time to go to sleep. But what is time really? You know, some people say time is in a line, but what would that look like? Hmm. Time in a line. Can you see this? This new part just came out and it's going, going, it's getting older. And the new part of the line is here. Hmm. Look how old it's getting now. Time in a line. You think this will go on forever? Time. This part is so new down here. Oh my goodness, I can barely hold it. Oh, it did come to an end. Here's the end of this time line. And the new that we started with is now so old. And the end was new. So we have a beginning that's like an ending and an ending that's like a beginning. You know what the church did? They put these two together. This is to remind us that every beginning has an ending. And every ending has a beginning. And that brings me to our church circle. Time in a circle. Now we've looked at this a little bit before, but today I want to show you all the pieces of our church circle. Let's start with the three very important times. That one is Christmas. And there's another week with Christmas because we have to wait for the Magi to get here. And you know what? They just got here just a couple of days ago. So we have to have two Sundays for Christmas. This one is Easter. And this one, oh, oh, that one is Pentecost. It's hot. These are three great mysteries. And sometimes people don't even realize they're happening. They walk right through these mysteries but we take some time to get ready. Here are the times we get ready for Christmas. We call them Advent. We just did Advent. I loved all your lessons, thank you. These weeks that we get ready for Easter are called Lent. There are six of them, even more than there were to get ready for the mystery of Christmas. And Easter goes on for another six weeks to Pentecost. And then what we have left are the great 
green growing times of our year. We have put time in lines. But let's see if we can build our church circle again. This is what I want you to do when you come back. Let's begin with Christmas, the time we celebrate the birth of Jesus and the extra week for the Magi to come and the weeks of Advent. We have the prophets, the family, the shepherds, and the magi for our Advent weeks. And then let's put Easter in. And our weeks to get ready for Easter. Six of them, one, two, three, four, five, six weeks to get ready for the mystery of Easter. And we call this Lent. Do you see how these get ready times are purple? Purple is a serious color. It's also the color of kings. Jesus was a king. Not the kind of king people were expecting, though. A different, special kind of king. Then we have the weeks after Easter. Now you know on Easter, Jesus died on the cross. But in the weeks after Easter, people continued to see him and experience him as though he were still here. As though he's still here now, until, until this day, this is Pentecost. On this day, Jesus and his disciples went out and the disciples saw Jesus rise up and a few days later the Holy Spirit came down and it came into them and the disciples were filled with the power of the Holy Spirit the joy the excitement they they had to tell everybody about it their mouths were on fire they were so excited and that whoo, is why Pentecost is red And now we have our green and growing times to put back. Between this week and the beginning of Lent, there are no more than nine weeks. So we will put nine green and growing times. Now these are cold times for us. It's our winter months, a time of quiet and reflection, a time of being inside, maybe inside ourselves. After all of our Easter weeks, we have the coming of summer. When it gets warm and school gets out and you have vacation time and maybe you learn to swim, maybe you see your grandparents or special people and then after summer, we have to get ready and go back to school. And maybe this year we will all really go back to school and be together again. And then as school goes on, the days become shorter 
more and a little colder and just when we think it's going to be cold and dark it is time to begin Advent again for every beginning there's an ending and for every ending there's a beginning it's all here everything we need and it goes on and on and on. So, I wonder if you can put this puzzle together yourself when you come back. I wonder which part is your favorite? Favorite time of the year? I wonder if you've thought about these colors before. I wonder what you wonder. Have a wonderful week. Today's story is gonna be Incredible You by Dr. Wayne Dyer with Christina Tracy. Share the good. There's good in you and in everyone. Sharing this good with others is fun. You have so many good ideas inside your mind. Set them free. You're one of a kind. Find what you love. Think of something you love to do. That is your passion, so let it shine through. Never let fear hold you back. Do what you love. You're on the right track. You are filled with love. Your heart is like a magic cookie jar. All the love you need is never far. So reach inside and let the love out. And it'll come back to you without a doubt. Find a quiet place inside. Life can sometimes be so loud. It's hard to listen with all those sounds. Go to a quiet place inside. There in your mind, you can wander or just hide. Make today great. In your life, plenty has happened so far. That's part of what makes you who you are. But don't worry too much about yesterday. What matters is what you do with today. Change your thoughts to good. Some problems are big and some are small. Some good thoughts can help you solve them all. You can ask for help with what's bugging you and never forget, God is always there too. Take care of yourself. If something or someone makes you feel bad, don't let it ruin your day by making you sad. Let go of the hurt and take care of you. You can't control what others say or do. Picture what you want. Pretend you are what you'd like to be 
Make a picture in your mind so you can see that what you want can come true. If you believe in your heart, it will come to you. Everyone is special. There's something on earth that all people share. It's the source of all good and love everywhere. What is this great mystery, you may say? It's God that connects us together this way. Good thoughts give you energy. I'm dumb, I'm scared. I'm brave, I'm smart, I can. Bad thoughts zap your energy. Happy thoughts make you strong and free. It's a choice you make each day. So choose to be happy. That's the way. Hope you enjoyed it. And let's close with a prayer. I said to the person who could not see, daffodils are the color of warm sunshine after a cool rain. I said to the person who could not hear, bird song looks like a firework of flowers. And then I said to God, talk to me about heaven because I cannot see it. And tell me what the angels sing for I have never heard them. Come and sit with me in the spring morning, replied God, and I will try to explain. Hope you have a great week. Take care.